story. So we were on the topic of movies, just movies in general. <laughs> That's always going to be the topic, but yeah. So, so we're going around uh, let's introduce room. ourselves. We're going around the room in, of movies. Yeah. Okay. Let's introduce right. ourselves. I'm Hayden Howerton. Drew Halleck. Q. Just Q. Just, Just Q. Q. And Michael Pipichet. No. Pipichet. Pipichet. <laughs> all right, so... We so were we're all very into films um, and acting and all that awesome stuff. And uh, we were just having some good conversations, and we thought we'd be best to record these. Um, let's start on a topic. We started with horror movies, and uh, I'll just start in by saying that my favorite horror movie of all time is The Babadook. It's a 2014 film that came out in uh, October, November. It's Australian and never had any spotlight in the United States because Ouija came out. He's so professional, isn't he? Like, seriously. Right, right? <laughs> All right, I'm going to start off by saying what I said to him when he first talked about it. I did not care for Babadook very much. Is it cool if we have spoilers? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Have spoilers? No, I'll, I'll spoilers. put a spoiler alert in. I think okay. we should have spoilers. Spoiler alert, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> spoiler Okay. Spoiler alert, Snake dies. Snake kills Dumbledore. Anyway. I hate Harry Potter. Um. <laughs> he hates and Harry our Potter. fan base just bails. <laughs> our fan base. And my fan base just <laughs> bails. Ma- millions are watching us, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, I cannot believe we're actually discussing the spoilers. Ruining it for the people. We have well, a we're, 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 spoiler alert. Yeah, there, 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 there there's a spoiler alert, alert in the beginning. Um, okay, yeah. well, I'm, I'm, it's only right, yes, yeah, so okay. So. Anyway. So my argument is that the Babadook had a cool concept. It it could have it was freaky. It had its freaky moments, but it was kind of cheesy. And then the ending just ruined it for me. When it, it became my fucking pet. Come on. My argument is that is that the concept of the Babadook is pretty stupid since we're talking about a monster in the house, which is pretty classic of of horror movie franchises. It's coming it's, from inside the house. Yes, okay, it is exactly. classic, yes, but I like the, know, I like the way they introduced it. I like the book. That that's what yes, I like. Yes, okay. The that that's that's, what that's like good about, because like the Babadook it. is uh, but you a see, children's the thing book. with me in horror movies so like they become repetitive and they become cheesy because Nine times out of ten, every horror movie is a spirit within the house. It's a monster within the house. Yeah. It's something eating you within your house. Why can't we step outside the box just a tad bit without going into? And that that's where monster. that's where it follows comes in. Well, now hang on, I got I got to say something here because I've been silent for too fucking long. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so. There is a movie like that, Q. It's called Unfriended. (laughs) 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 Segway! But, okay, just think about this for a second now. About water. About water. (laughs) About water. What do you think? This this magnificent, pure, just clear water. But anyway, just just think about this for a second now. Aqua no penis. (laughs) (laughs) Aqua penis sponsoring us. Thank you very much. (laughs) Shout out to Aqua no penis. (laughs) I'll accept my payment through PayPal. (laughs) (laughs) Debit, cash, credit, debit, or ass. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, anyway, just think about this for a second. Thanks for making this possible. Okay, but just just think about this for a second now. Um, Imagine that you are a real asshole little friend, okay? They ended up offing themselves in a very terrible way. You're on a Skype call with a bunch of your friends, and then suddenly she comes back to haunt you through this Skype. This is where I that think just... that boy is stupid. Yeah, but... that, that sounds to me like a movie that should be an original sci-fi movie. But true. what? It, it's so <laughs> Shout true. out to sci-fi. Responsible. <laughs> <laughs> <Sci-fi laughs> <Sci-fi laughs> PayPal or cash. <laughs> no, PayPal, cash, credit, debit, or AKA ass. AKA cut that shit. <laughs> <laughs> But no, no, no. Okay, no. I need to pay rent. <laughs> but no, no, no. <laughs> Just, but, but that's not. It, the concept sounds stupid. I'll give it. I'll give you all that. The concept sounds ridiculously stupid. But what's really cool is kind of the execution of what they do. What? Because it it turns out spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen Unfriended. Um, 
Yeah, everyone here. Well, thank you for ruining me. For no, well, I, 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 I feel if y'all don't like the movie, you ain't gonna fucking watch well, it. Well, if we're having a discussion on it, I think we should have all watched it. Well, right. well, <laughs> well, you know what? You know what? You know what? I, y'all can't see, but I'm giving the middle finger right now. Fuck you all. But, but I'm gonna sit here and, and spoil it for everyone anyway, so if you if you don't want to hear it, just put your fingers in your ears and go, la, 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 la. La, 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 la. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so basically, it turns out that the spirit of this girl is possessing the people, is possessing the people and making them off themselves. The only way to make them, the only way to make them like, or to make her go away, is for them to conf- is for the person who uploaded this really bad video of her. It sounds stupid, I know, but for the person to upload this, who uploaded this really bad video of her, to confess that she did it, and no one there will fucking do it. I like how you could have just um, said they. You could have said they. You didn't have to say she. So we yeah, I was about to say, we, now we know it's a well, girl, well, and you're yeah, ruining it for us. Well, so if it's a blind or a woman, it could have been a guy that uploaded it. Yeah, yeah. I would expect a guy to upload No, no, that's not. No, that's that's not what I was saying. I was saying is the spirit is a girl. It doesn't matter because... It doesn't matter because... This is where I feel they went wrong with this movie. Okay, she was a fucking hoe, all right? And she, she got raped. Well, <laughs> she <laughs> got <laughs> raped. It seemed like she was putting herself out there to be a fucking hoe. So she I'm just, was, but she got <laughs> raped. Well, you don't put yourself out there, you don't, don't get raped. So, <laughs> so, so she wanted to be a hoe, but when it started happening to her, she tried to have second thoughts, but it was too fucking late. <laughs> so, Girl, with that being said. <laughs> Now, I feel like your computer is going to come alive and kill all of us. Yeah. <laughs> no, my, my, We're talking bad about it. You, you remember Tina Mendez? No. You don't remember Tina? I do not. Fuck. Okay, but her Skype profile on here is literally uh, Laura Barnes, like from the... Like she... Hang on, let me show you. Let me show you. Come here. Okay. Come here. Anyway, continue talking about it. <laughs> okay, but, but it's, it, it, it goes to show that... Yeah, Lord Lord. She, she did it, you yeah. know. Well, uh, she didn't know the people did it to her. Yeah, she took the video, but did he have intercourse with her too? Uh, well, of course. <laughs> no one knows who had intercourse with her. She was just raped. Oh well, then she shouldn't even be mad. She's a fucking shitty upset spirit. Like, why is you upset with these people that have met? like they uploaded the video? Fine. No, no, they all they all were assholes to her after you know the video was uploaded. Yeah, they were like oh, when, when they, they needed a friend. Name. When they needed, when she needed a friend, you know, they were all just like, "Ha, go kill yourself!" And oh, then well, she did it. Well, oh, she did it pretty. I don't. I don't. No, I, I, what, 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 uh, what I find, what I find uh, cool well, about she, unfriended. She's not a shitty spirit. Well, what if I find what I find cool about unfriended is that it has a whole other deep concept below it, which is uh, cyberbullying. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. the reason, the reason why she killed herself. Uh, the reason why she killed herself is due to cyberbullying. So this is kind of even an attack on cyberbullying and what's happening today in the United States and all over the world uh, on the internet. And you know, Michael, I think we've touched on that point because you just changed my view in a minute. You know, you know. So maybe she wasn't a shitty spirit. And sorry that she was. Raped. Well, the fact is that everybody makes mistakes, and she made one mistake, and she was just. And she was ready for the. No, no, no. I, no in in the trailer, they literally say they literally freaking say. Your moments and memories live on on the internet, but so do your mistakes. Yeah, exactly. Especially your mistakes. So, man. especially it highlight, has it has something people real behind it. the mistakes and forget about the good things you did, no matter what. That's, oh yeah, uh, that's, that's that's just that's the, an ultimate truth of the world. Yeah, that's just the inequity of human nature. It got deep real fast. <laughs> yeah, it did. <laughs> I thought we were talking about movies. <laughs> but, but, talking about life anyway. now. <laughs> but anyway, the movie itself, and what really caught my eye about it was the way it was filmed. Through through screen through recording, Skype, yeah, yeah, through Skype, it was which just, is which is a a, is a new concept. Skype? So yeah, it was all through Skype. The only time that it wasn't through <laughs> Skype was at the very end. Okay. And I, and since y'all are being so uptight and getting your panties in a bunch about spoilers, I won't tell you what happens at the end. All right. Well, you know, tell us it's a shit. Doesn't matter because I'm just not gonna go see that. Okay, movie. well, fuck it. I'm just <laughs> I'll, I'll, anyway. no, no, I'm gonna get a red box when it comes out. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay, but, okay. but yeah, it's not, and I'm not gonna spend money and go see it in theater though. Okay. Yeah, fuck that. But, but you went you twice. Theater. You I went, went twice, twice to see it. it. I'll pay a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> twice. One with a, one with uh, Tina and Stephanie, and one with a, another friend. And to you, to, to the theaters, we do not <laughs> shout you out because you do not cut that chick. You take our chicks. Yeah. So unfriended, unfriended. Um. Cash, debit, credit, or ass? Which one? 
<laughs> that would definitely be credit because I wouldn't be going to see. I would probably would pay to see, but I wouldn't pay to pay the money back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just give them a credit card, just that that thirteen ninety five for the ticket. Just, yeah. <laughs> I believe, for I believe the we were talking about the Babadook first, uh, <laughs> and, and, and then I just segued into Unfriended. <laughs> yeah, but I've never seen Babadook. So. Yeah, no, I don't. It, it's worth watching. It's, it's, worth, it's, it's worth. I mean, just 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 the fact that it has a ninety seven percent on Rotten Tomatoes Which by by is. the critics by the critics because there's a difference between the critics and the public. The critics gave it a ninety seven percent, and the public has only like close to an eighty percent. I don't he, like to listen to credit critics. Yeah, because critics. Because most critics, of the time. I have an opposite opinion of the critics. See, most of the time, I find myself agreeing with the critics. Well, it seems we're at a standoff. (laughs) (laughs) Well, let's just analyze the Babadook. So, uh, um, from my point of view, the concept was uh, pretty stupid and dumb. If you just think about it, there's there's this monster in the house. And this this kid uh, thinks that there's a monster in the house, and the woman is like, oh... And the mom's like, there's no such thing as monsters, but then all this shit goes down. But the the reason why it has a ninety seven percent, and the reason why it's my favorite horror movie of all time, is the cinematography and the way the movie was realized. So it's all based on uh, humans' fear of the dark. I I'm not naturally afraid of the dark, but the 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 film terrorized me because there are just some moments in which the tension builds up so much. That it's just too much to bear. And uh, what I really love about the Babadook also is that there's also deep meanings throughout the movie because there's no father involved because the father uh, died in a car crash. And the kid, do you remember what the kid tells the mother sometimes? It's just unconditional love towards the mother. Like, there were some dramatic moments uh, inside the movie. Um, but Drew doesn't like it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> They, I think they had some really a really cool idea of this whole children's book becoming this whole thing that goes on and blah blah blah. But I is don't. It, is it I, like you read the book and then it becomes? Well, what happens is that it, it magically it, it magically up, like, appears. Out of doorstep or something. No, no, no! It magically appears on the bookshelf. Oh, on the bookshelf. The kids. She doesn't even read. know. The yeah. mother doesn't even know who got it. But she's and, like, and I would guess it's called the Babadook. Yes. Yes. And it's like if it's in a sound or it's in a look, you can't get rid of the Babadook. And it's this weird. Uh, uh, it's totally creepy uh, little book. book that would pop like it starts and out, everything. it starts out fine, and then these pops up become darker and darker and darker and it until the kid and yeah, until it shows the Babadook like slitting a kid's throat and everything, and it just and the, the mother's like, "What the fuck and, is this?" Yeah. And the mom's just like, "Let's not listen to this and, book." Yeah. And eventually, she does tear up the book and burns, burns stuff, it and it comes back, which that's not original. Thing. That's happened in movies before. Well, I didn't. See. In this movie, I didn't feel like the the actors did too good of a job, really, in turning the emotion into it, other than just being like, what the what what's happening, like being crazy. I feel like they just were kind of nuts the whole time. I completely disagree because I feel like the acting was on spot, especially from the kid. The kid was amazing. For the kid me. did a good job. I like um, the kid did well. The kid was only like seven or eight years old. By the way, he looks exactly like my stepbrother. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and uh, it, the kid is, uh, he suffers from uh, um, rage. Like he, he can't, he can't control his rage. And um, so th- there's this, uh, the mother's really, really fucking stressed out because she can't pay the bills and all that. And she's a single mom. And uh, shit just hits the fan after a certain point. Oh, yeah, it becomes I, real. Man. I I enjoy my mov- my horror movies. They need to take kind of take their time in developing mm. the like Oculus. The, <laughs> Don't you get okay? Okay, that, well, oh, after after Bad Bad News, oh, we'll talk oh, about oh. Oculus. <laughs> Never seen it. Um, I like them to take their time in developing the bad guy or whatever it may be—a spirit or person or whatever. And it needs to have depth. Yeah. Yes. I feel like this just kind of jumped into it and jumped farther and farther and farther. And eventually I'd like to see what's happening and it just kind of... You just, you just see... And it, it, I do like the mystery of not knowing what's under his coat. He has a coat and a top hat and it's like his outer form and if you see his inner form you want to be dead or whatever. That's some rhyme in the book. But I would... 
I would have liked to see his inner form, but it, what, what really what really did it for me, what made me not like this movie so much, well, actually, two things. If a dog dies in a movie, I don't fucking like the movie. Oh, come yeah, on. Yeah. Don't be that person. <laughs> <I know>. Come <laughs> on. Dog dog dies. Dies. That makes if me want to see all the condoms. Dies. <laughs> yes. yeah, the, the dog, dog dies. dies, like, quickly. It, the beginning. Yeah, actually. quickly. Like, 2.5 seconds. Of Which the will be there quickly. <laughs> no, if a dog dies at all in the movie, I'm done. But, and then it just became their pet, and it just... Seemed like Spoiler. a really crazy family just kind of living together now, and it was the ending was dumb. It's, well, it's, it, yeah, no, I yeah, I agree that the, the ending could have done, been done better. Uh, it's definitely not something that you would expect, though. Yeah, that, I'll give it that. That I did not you, expect. You, you that would ending. expect them to vanquish the evil and all that, blah blah blah. But, but, but uh, and then the instead, it, the they just yeah, yeah, it's kind of kind of weird, but. Um, so I don't know, man. What did it for me was just the realization. And, you know, I want to become a, a director, and I'm all into that. And so I thought the movie was brilliant. Brilliantly made. Stupid concept, but brilliantly made. <laughs> now, on to Oculus. Now, on to Oculus. Oculus is... A, a terrible ho- fucking movie. Oculus is in my top ten horror movies. A terrible movie. Oculus is not a good movie. <laughs> it's 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 in my top ten. It's fairly a boring movie. It, I'll I'll give it that. That's I'll give not it that. my problem with it. I enjoyed you know I enjoyed the cinematography and I enjoyed the score and I enjoyed you know. But there's no score. In there Oculus. is there is some some like little. We're not talking about score. We'll talk about it follows. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> in a minute. But fucking okay. I'm saying fucking a lot. I'm. I'm Tarantino over here. I'll tell you why. I, I, yeah. But anyway. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was going to go for a Pulp Fiction quote, but never mind. What? what does our teacher say? Disclaimer? Disclaimer. Yeah. Disclaimer. <laughs> Disclaimer. Disclaimer to hate. Big D. Big D. No, but anyway. First time I've been called. Moving on with Oculus. <laughs> yeah. Oculus. Yeah. I mean, you have the you have these kids. You have these kids that's getting this mirror that's you know caused such terrible things to them. First off, sister, this is my message to you. Why the fuck would you go chasing a mirror down that caused you True. so much pain? True. I'm just gonna just throw that out there. If yes. it caused you that much pain, why the fuck are you chasing it down? If she didn't chase it down, there wouldn't have been a horror movie though. Well, yeah, but in other words, it shouldn't have been a horror. Movie. <laughs> I, I mean, but in my opinion, there's certain scenes. There's one scene in particular that really just feels like they just took a crowbar and just moved the time slot just for this scene. And that scene was the big exposition, you know, let's all, let's, the whole gang go to the library and, you know, get information on this and about the bad demon or something, but she'd already ended up doing it. Like, she'd gotten Whoa, all this wait information. A wait a second, what are you talking about? When, it, when she's, you know, when she first brings her brother into the, when she first brings her brother yeah. into the house with yeah. the mirror, yeah. and she's giving all this exposition oh, oh, okay. yeah. about the fucking mirror, it's like... It's like a twenty-minute scene of just yeah. her just going on and on about all the deaths that have occurred. Who the fuck cares? Yeah, no, I'll give it the audience that uh, the uh, the film does not start for like an hour. It really does. <laughs> an doesn't. hour. And then, it takes an hour to speed up. And then you know, it's like a, halfway through, she's like, "Oh, I'm hungry. I need a protein bar break." Then she has a fucking pro. We watch. Her daily routine, fucking giving <laughs> exposition on this mirror, and then oh, I'm gonna eat a protein bar. And well, no, it, 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 no, it, ha- it has a point in the movie because um, it, the whole movie is based on illusions, and uh, she has these uh, timers that will go off to remind them to drink or to uh, eat because the mirror had killed people in the past by letting them starve to death or, or uh, dying of thirst. But the problem is. Those timers and fail safes. What if the mirror knows about these yeah, timers I and fail Yeah, I know. That's what's fucked up. And it fucks with the timers and fail safes. And her brother that's what, that's is a fail safe of hers. So think about this. Why don't, you know, every 10 minutes or so, they walk away from the house? They get out of the house, walk away from it. Anything. No, but they don't know if the they're. Room. They don't know if they're. Let's walk in the living room. Let's walk outside. Let's, let's get away from the mirror by walking in the living room. But they, they don't know. They don't know if they're walking outside. That's the whole point. Exactly. That's what. That's what I fucking hated because there was no escape from this mirror. That's what there I. There was liked. no weakness. <laughs> that's what but I. Liked. She decided to go get it. 
this that's mirror. Stupid. In that's other stupid. words, she wanted to die. That's so stupid. It should never this have been mirror. That's stupid. But this I mean, mirror is the, like an overpowered, like an, like it's like Superman. And what, this mirror is you. There is no weakness to yeah, Superman. Right, and and you know I want to touch on that. Um, also by this mirror being unbreakable, this mirror is a Superman has no type of weakness. She's trying to explain to the mirror how she's going to kill it. Yeah. Yeah. She shows in front them of the mirror how in she's going. No, but the thing is, this mirror has no effect on people when it's covered. She uncovers it and shows the fucking mirror <laughs> how she's going to kill it. Yeah. In yeah. the mirror, for the mirror. Yeah, it it has yeah it has its stupid moments. I like the fact that it was just uh, it, it, you did not know what was going on. I hated that. It, I, I it would have been such a cool concept if it had just a center of reality we could have held on. To. Then again, what you said, Q, about um. Uh, that it was stupid for her to go and get the mirror. That was like a death wish. I mean, you see that in horror movies all the time. The famous sentence, oh, let's split up. Well, yes. What the fuck? Okay, no. no, no. Let's not Cabin split up. Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods. Actually, that was a fucking dumb movie. It was, it was but I really movie. enjoyed this one scene that where where terrible. they were all just like, "Hey, let's stick together." Then one of the guys squirted this like pheromone thing, and he's like, "Nah, let's all split up." <laughs> <laughs> and, and the nerd was like, "Really?" <laughs> but anyway, back to back to Ooh. Oculus. Yeah. I mean, the only part that really kind of made me cringe was the light bulb oh, part. Yeah, light bulb part. Yeah, when she ate a light bulb, but then she really did eat oh. a light bulb. Yeah, like she, she really did. No. Spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. I'm sorry, <laughs> but yeah, she bit into the light bulb. That's just a little part. Yeah. She bit into the fucking light bulb, and then she's like, ah, to her brother. She's sitting there holding a the fucking apple. She didn't bite into a fucking light bulb. All right, let's move on from Oculus. We, we can agree she that, uh, solitaire. We, we, yeah, Drew's yeah, playing, playing solitaire. <laughs> we can well, agree. I mean, I wasn't involved in that conversation. <laughs> we can agree that Oculus uh, had some stupid concepts. And, this is a um, movie I want to speak on, though. Have, who have seen The Conjuring? Yes. I have seen the Conjuring. We've, we've all, all seen The Conjuring. We've all seen The Conjuring. But I would like to speak on The Conjuring. The Conjuring, okay. to me, was a fairly stupid I movie. enjoyed it. Now, I enjoyed it. It was, it had its points. It had its points. Now, I want to say, with the movie... Don't even start. First, <laughs> first off, the dog dies in the beginning, and to me... See, that made me sad. <laughs> like, why kill the dog? Let me let me just say something. It's a let me just say story, something. Really I would be that type of director, that type of screenwriter, that would kill dogs and children. I would be. Because well, that's how real life about. is. Children well, yeah. don't care about dogs. Yeah, don't children, yeah. children in movies, they seem like to just emanate this just aura of, you can't kill me because yeah. I'm too no, young. No, fuck that. I'm going to make you cry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to kill that son of a bitch. I think that is true. Have you ever seen Schindler's List? Yes. Have you seen the part of the, the little girl? The, the whole movie is in black and white, and the little girl is the only one who has a red jacket biggest symbol of the movie you know symbol of hope or whatever in during the holocaust or whatever she ends up spoiler dead why <laughs> because that's how the holocaust fucking happened <laughs> that's how it should have been like he like you know at the very end of the movie he could have <coughs> well, just yeah. been like You're oh she survived her surviving exactly but Everyone knows how that goes. I mean, that, I, I would be that type of director that is like, fuck it, I'm going to be as real as fuck. I'm going to kill that dog. Okay, another thing that, that, that got to me was the mom. The mom was... In the country. Yes, yeah, she was. And also, she was the, the, the peacemaker in the beginning. In the beginning. Mm -hmm. She tried to cope with being in a creepy house, sleeping in this creepy house, and I, 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 mind you, this house is pretty much in the middle of the woods. Yes, but it was actually she's waking up with bruises and marks. Like that's really not like enough evidence it. to get the fuck. Up Why are you house. saying that they it's a stupid move? No, they couldn't afford to move. It was, yeah, they couldn't afford they, to just. They, get they had move. to. Stay there. They couldn't afford to just get up and go. Yeah, because I mean, that's that's fucking into the details teacher. of the movie. Yeah, yeah, they then, did have like eighteen fucking. Yeah. Kids. So then she she, <laughs> she tracks down the the man and the lady. They comes. They, they yeah, the demon. They, they had so many kids you, that even the demon was like, God damn it, how many kids? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mind you though, these demon hunters actually <laughs> existed. What they 
the demon hunters that are in the movie, they actually yeah, yeah. existed. Yeah, they, the, actually, um, they do still exist. What are they? Co- they yeah, they're real people. What are they called? Um, uh, they so do? did the family. It's based on a yeah, it's based on a true. It's a true I, like the Amityville. That's the same. Amityville, yeah. That's the same. Uh, you know, let me look this which up. Which I've actually never seen in Amityville. Me neither. But they're not that good. Actually. <coughs> so I think it was like Ed and Lorraine. Yeah, Ed and Lorraine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Yeah. Warren, the Warrens. The Warrens. Yeah, the Warrens. Warrens. But what got me is when she's seen the, 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 the dead body hanging over the tree. The tree. That That's freaked me out. Yep, Ed and Lorraine Warren. My it was just a regular tree. But then... Not really. I mean, well, that's them. Really a regular tree. It was... I mean, Apparently, it, Ed was an it's alien. It's kind of a scary tree. But anyway... Um, you know what you're talking about. My, my, uh, my favorite scene is uh, the exorcism at the end. Yes. That, that that was that was the climat the climactic uh, part of the movie. I, yeah. I think that's when shit hit the, hit the fan the most. But also, oh, yeah. oh my that's god, that that in, part in movie, that part true. almost in the beginning in which um, apart the whole Annabelle scene, which I loved, I, I loved yeah. the Annabelle the I Annabelle loved. scene was great. The, I I knew that we were gonna make a movie out of that. But anyway, and it was a shitty movie. Yes, but I anyway, it well, it wasn't shitty, but it, it was not as good as thirty two percent on Rotten Tomatoes. You tell me yeah. that's shitty. No, yeah, no, it, was, it had its moments, but it's not as good as The Conjuring. But one of the scenes of The Conjuring I really liked was the scene. Uh, the two girls in the bedroom, she wakes up and she hears a noise and uh, the, the older sister goes to the door and she starts, and the little girl starts fucking crying and saying that something's standing right behind her. Yeah, yes. that's, that's fucking creepy. That, that was creepy. creepy. That was creepy. The way they made that, movie, I, that scene was I creepy. Think the, I think it was well written. Mm-hmm. Well shot. I think it was well, well, well shot. shot. It was... It was definitely a good movie. I, I did like yes, it a lot. I um, love the Conjuring. It it was a good movie. It's just at some points I would just look like. What about that that those those shots that they did of the house, uh, panning out, and they had that effect of uh, the trees closing in on the house. Yeah, Do you remember was, that? That was great. Yeah, that was Wait, so, so hang on. Drew was touching on a point. He said that this I was yeah <laughs> that this was shot like thirty minutes down the road. Yeah, um, yeah. We're in Wilmington currently, and it's, uh, East Hollywood. <laughs> that's, what, that's what people call it, Wilmy Wood, East Hollywood. Yeah, yeah. Um, Wilmy Wood. It was filmed like Thirty Minutes Road, which is kind of funny because the people actually own the house ha- have to tell people to go away that it's actually not haunted because people show up at their house at night. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's weird. That's, that's weird. awesome. That's I, I would terrible. Have. <laughs> I wouldn't want I mean, people coming to my house. I wouldn't house be able to watch it though because be, if it's at my house and I watch that movie, they're like, all right, I'm moving. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Pack it up the dog and go. No, they, 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 well, the dog's, dog. already, dog's already dead, so. Yeah, we're done. <laughs> no, the dog guy's like, we're done. We're, uh, no, I, I don't need to see anymore. <laughs> the was really But it was, o- overall, it was a good movie. It just had its... It had its dumb to moments. Me. To me. It what were the dumb moments? Like, I, I, you still haven't said what the dumb moments were. I, I cannot... I really cannot find one a thing, dumb moment in, in The Conjuring. One thing I enjoyed about it... It was a dumb moment. When? The dumb moment in The Conjuring was when, um, shit, what the fuck happened? <laughs> <laughs> can't think of it, huh? Yeah, I, can't, I, can't, I can't find the dumb moment. I, I, I think that movie was One thing I spot really up. enjoyed about it was how little you saw the witch, but you still got to see, you, you, you felt satisfied that you've seen her enough, though. Yeah, oh, Like, yeah. it wasn't I saw it in like some of the weird movies like, where you ooh. only see parts of the... Parts of the creature or whatever. Like Blair Witch Project. You never see the creature. Really? I've never seen that. You've never oh, seen I'll tell you but exactly what. what I, I feel like I got plenty of it and it scared the shit out of me, so I'm well, going to well, it's on my mind. When they played the game, the game where they go and hide and you have to go around. Why the fuck would you continue to play this game? <laughs> and you know. Okay, that 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 is a stupid moment because who the fuck would play a game like that in a <laughs> house? Find me in a, new in a house. House. No, 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 no. And blindfolded. And upstairs. You don't even know how <laughs> the house <laughs> is, <laughs> and there's <laughs> stairs. <laughs> like that's, that's such a that's stupid. What I was I'm gonna yeah. tell you. Find me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm I'm tell you what turned that dumb moment into an awesome moment when the mom was actually looking for the children. Yes. And it was like, find me, find me, find me. And she got to that dresser oh and the white hands were yeah. out. I yes. was, no. No. Yes. No. yes. No. Yes. Yes. I was, was really no. at that I, moment thinking that the mom was going to get sucked into the closet. That yeah. dresser, that, uh, would it be a ward, uh, wardrobe? Wardrobe. Yeah, wardrobe, that wardrobe. Yeah. I hate that thing because of two things those hands. 
and the damn witch on top of it. Because yeah. that seriously was the scariest part for me, just because I was not expecting <laughs> yeah, it to be sitting there looking at her. I was not. <laughs> Look up, and it's just there, and you're just, that's it. Yeah, I was. I kicked my friend in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Oh my god, that that. Yes. Yeah, we've been that. going at this for almost thirty minutes now. It's good, good, good. We're having good. Who's good actually going to listen? <laughs> Not that many people, but who the fuck cares? <laughs> it, it's like two o'clock in the morning. I, I've I've Wait, thrown. What? It's two o'clock in the morning. Just yeah. about. Oh, oh, shit. One, one thirty, almost one thirty. Um, I, I I'm the only one here who saw it follows. Yep. Right, and uh, Drew, uh, a, a friend of us in common, Daniel, shout out. Uh, said, said that uh, that it's a dumb movie it's and a I paranormal com- STD completely completely disagree. <laughs> Thank God, because, I never uh, get laid. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> completely disagree because it follows was amazing. I I will have no opinion on that because I did not have not seen it yet. So from from what you told me and from what Drew told me. It's a more intense version of the incredibly slow murder with a extremely inefficient weapon. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. yeah, I mean, just just imagine having someone you know just walk behind you constantly beating you on the beating you on the head with a spoon. <laughs> yeah. Hey, spoons um, hurt. <laughs> exactly, but it's an extremely inefficient weapon. That's true. Just just imagine just walking through your daily life getting beat on the head with a spoon. Yeah. But, but imagine, but imagine, going through life, knowing that there's this thing that follows you Looking wherever you go, constantly. and it's walking right towards you and it stares at you, and if it touches you, <laughs> you're dead. If it just touches what, you, yeah. And what, what, uh, what happens if it does touch you? Does it go away from everyone? Does it it, it ra- person? Well, I, I'm spoiling. It goes on to the next person. It. You want me to spoil it? The next person. Oh, oh, so, so, what happens if, alright, so, the girl, the main character, she gets laid, and she gets that STD, and then practically, she, she, she has to, she has to have sex with another guy, but the fact is that you'd think, oh, I'll just have sex with another guy, and I'm good, no, 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 you have sex with that other guy, if that thing kills him, it goes back to you, it's a chain, so you the whole, your whole life. You're, looking You're hoping the that there's just a bunch of sluts behind you. Yes. That keep yes. having sex with so many people. But what are the odds? And the, the, the that, okay that the ending I can see is, it being better now because that's creepy. That's, it's that fucking is, that creepy. Is pretty creepy. But the, what made it creepy was the score. The music was amazing. And what are we talking about? Now? It follows. It follows. We can't really talk about it because I'm the only one who saw it. But um, have you guys seen? Um, Evil Dead. I no. have. No. The original or the remake? Both. I like <laughs> say that. Wait, wait, which one which one did you like more? See, that's a hard one because you gotta you either have to go with including the special effects and the cinematography of back then and now, or you have to exclude that and just go with... Exclude that. Exclude that. Because, I mean, Evil Dead, the, the original, is obviously going to have multiple setbacks, you know, in the visual department, because it's in 1970. Yeah, 1970s compared to 2013. Yeah. Um, I... I Probably the original, just because by the time the remake came out, it's such a played on thing of go to it's cabin. Pl- it's played out where uh, go to teenagers, early twenties, go to cabin in the woods and are screwed. Yeah, I they, mean, I mean, um, so there were a few key differences in both. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you, give no fucks. You don't give no fucks. So anyway, um. Am I correct if I say that the 2013 version of Evil Dead had mixed reviews? It did. It did. It did. Because, uh, because I mean. Hugh. Hugh, we're fucking Hugh, live. We're recording, man. I know, so maybe we're the one to fight. Wait, what? 
Mayweather won. Oh, I was hoping Pac Mayweather won. Anyway. Too. Oh, so okay. oh, the big boxing match. Anyway. I don't pay attention to it. I just want that douchebag to lose. <laughs> anyway. Um, like I was saying, <coughs> there were a few key differences. Like, I mean, in the first one, in well, the original, it was more centered on Ash. It was more centered on Ash, and in yeah. the second, and the, I keep wanting to say the first and second, um, in the remake, in the remake, it was more centered on Mia. I don't know how you remember these names, but okay. Mia Wallace. Not Mia Wallace. <laughs> this is this is not Mia Wallace. Well, while she while she is a heroin, or no, while she is a cocaine addict, this is not Mia Wallace. It's a hell of a drug. <laughs> Cocaine's a hell of a drug. But anyway, yeah, it's more. The first one's more centered on Ash, and the remake is more yeah. centered on Mia. I don't really like the fact that it's centered on Mia because it doesn't really give options for a <coughs> remake of Army of Darkness or the second Evil Dead. You see, Ash Williams, you know, came from the original Evil Dead and then Evil Dead 2, Army of Darkness. He got he mainly got his fame from Army of Darkness, but and I'm probably and I'm probably skewing a lot of this. I know I'm I, my memory's terrible, but um and you know, you know, he's the, he's the one with the chainsaw hand and the boomstick. This is my boomstick. But um, and Mia, I didn't really like her as a character. Like she was just more, she was you know that generic. How do I explain it? She was that generic stoner drug addict that you know had a brother that the brother's like really concerned for, but the brother's always away and doesn't have time for her really and then she's got all these friends that have too much time for her See, and, okay. and and then in the remake they go to the cabin the main reason is because Mia is dealing with a drug addiction and yeah. she's you know she's like oh I'm going to give up everything I'm going to give up the cocaine or whatever the fuck kind of drug she's on and then by the second night you know she's like oh I want to go home I gotta get some drugs man but <laughs> but eventually it kind of turns whack because yeah <laughs> wiggity whack you know it kind of turns bad because you know she's getting possessed because one of the guys was like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna read this passage yeah, never... ezekiel 25 17 oh shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> if you ever find a passage random passage written in latin don't read it yeah but especially <laughs> if the, especially <laughs> if this especially if this if you find this passage in a book bound by human skin. Yeah. All right, so I have, a big a few, no. I have a few points to make on these two movies really quick before we probably will move on to another one. Um, what I did like about the new one, about the remake, was if, correct me if I'm wrong, but the original didn't have too much of a backstory to the possession. It did. It The remake had a little cutscene in the beginning to where it showed why... What, why Why the book was there. Why the book was there, why what's going to happen to these people is happening. And it made a little, things a little more clear. And then it just and it, it made more sense as to why as to why they ki- why it's get why people are getting killed and all this stuff. And it just and then also sh- she gets raped by a tree. <laughs> in both oh. of them she just gets full on raped by a tree which the first one really makes me laugh because it just comes out of nowhere it's like fist and um no but but it in really the, just comes out remake, of nowhere in the remake she's you know she needs to get out of the house she feels yeah. like you know something's in the house with them so uh-huh. she so she bolts to the woods you know trying to get back over you know trying to get back to society well as she gets there this tree the demon basically takes the tree, possesses it, and then ba- binds her while a physical manifestation of this evil rapes her. Yeah, in the form of a vine. In the form of a black, <laughs> slimy vine. Yeah. Spiked. But in the, I have to yeah, be black. But in the first one, it just full on goes for it. And it, it, just is, it, it is hilarious. I would advise watching. I think it's still on Netflix. <laughs> it kind of is funny because you're just like you're just sitting there in a tree and then right <laughs> especially if you watch the remake first which like I did because you, you're like okay so the same thing's happening oh my god it just, <laughs> it just <laughs> goes right for it wasn't uh, even on the screen it just pops I think Scary Movie spoofed that yeah they did 
I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they did. I never knew that. Did they? Uh-huh. Well, I mean, I remember, I remember a scary movie spoofed the remake of Evil Dead in the later. In the later, um, no, it was not possible. No, it was they, they made, came in two thousand thirteen. No, it was scary movie that it was a. I remember this. It was a scary movie skit that parodied Evil Dead. Probably the original one. No, it was a remake. Huh. Well, they don't make scary movies anymore. Yeah. The, the last one was like two thousand and eight. I, I was uh, in fucking middle school. I feel school. like they're coming out with another one. No, oh, I want to. Yeah. It might have been the original, but I don't. <laughs> It might have been the original, but I can swear to you, I think it was the remake, because, correct me if I'm wrong, in the original Mia, there is no Mia, if I'm right. They're basically the same characters with different names. Ash and Mia. Well, but, I mean... I don't know if they have different names. I'm not, I don't remember names very well. But, I mean, Ash... <laughs> Never have. Ash was like, you know, he was he was like the brother was is in the he, remake. Is he going to catch them all? <laughs> Sorry, yet. I hope you mop, but anyway. <laughs> yeah, it was. But, um, but yeah. Oh god. <laughs> oh lord. I can go all night. And, and, and this, and this, That's and this. Thank you. Well, this is dissolved quickly. <laughs> but yeah, just. I, I can leave the ultimate drink. Oh fuck. <laughs> I was going good. Oh man. And then, and then just. That's what she said. Fuck you! <laughs> no thanks. So, uh, are, are we having this episode only on horror films? I guess. Because um, it's already, what, 40 we're, minutes we're in? We're 40 minutes in now. Yeah. Um, Any other horror movies we want to talk about, or do we want to stop it here? Okay, Hay- Hayden has a problem with... Uh, but I really enjoy the two most recent Halloweens made by Rob Zombie. Oh, boy. Like, before before we started this stream, we were all talking about this, and then Drew was like, hey, why don't we, or not stream, but video, and Drew was just like, hey, why don't we just make the video, you know, and make it a video? Well, I think I said that. I thought that was it. Yeah. No, well, whatever. That. Whoever the fuck it was. <laughs> Give me my credit. Okay, Michael. Okay, for everyone watching at home, yes. I, I'm, go- I'm going to put this into perspective for you. It was Michael's idea. It's Michael Pipichella. Michael Pip. Michael. Michael no, no, no. Giuseppe Pipichella da Firenze's idea. Ooh, okay. Ooh that was good. <laughs> that was good. Have you been teaching him a time? No. You did that. You did that. But anyway, and by the way, for anyone that doesn't know, that's like I think that in Italian, that's Joseph Pipichella of Firenze. Or a Michael's my middle name, man. It's not like I invented it. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> if, if you want me to, get, if you want me to get crazy, I will. No. Okay, but anyway, what, what were we talking about? Halloween. Oh right. So we we were we were kind of discussing this before I started the video, and like I was telling him beforehand, I don't like the fact that they gave Michael so much backstory. Like the first half of the movie was backstory. Yeah, and I was, I'm glad we talking about this. I wanted to touch on the Halloween. Okay, and I, I don't, and I don't really think that it was needed. Michael was a merciless killing machine. He was so from birth. Why, how do we need more exposition on that? Personally, I enjoyed having a little bit of backstory on him instead of just having this mindless killer with a machete that just walked around and a, killed a people. Knife, not machete. Well, well, That's for Jason. He has multiple weapons that he uses. No, it's it's a knife. Well, the stereo, the, well, the, well, yeah, it's a, it's a knife, but he uses whatever he can get. Well, yeah, but he, he does, he, I don't think he ever uses a machete because that's Jason's. Yeah, I know, I got it mixed up for a second. But it's, it's a longer knife. Shut up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, no, I enjoyed... Figuring, because sometimes, like, I hate psychology, the class itself, but I, I do enjoy find, knowing what's going on with people and why the way they are the way they are. And it explains that his upbringing is the cause for him doing what he does and gives a reason to it instead of him just going around and killing things. Well, it wasn't even really his upbringing, though. I mean, yeah, you had the damaged stripper mom, the slutty daughter, the baby, and, you know, Michael Myers, and, and the terrible father, but... Yeah. <coughs> but, you know, I really think it was... 
it was more, and we're going back to bullying, guys. Oh, you man. better have been watching from 10 minutes ago. But anyway. Um, <laughs> 30 minutes ago. <laughs> 30 minutes ago. But anyway, um, I feel that I feel that it was more of the bullying he received as a child. I, a combination of all of it. Yeah. Really. But bullying fucks you over, man. It, it really, really does. It really fucks you up. Bully, don't bully kids. Don't bully. I got bullied until I reached about 6'3". <laughs> but, but then, I got bullied all the way through high school. <laughs> I I got. But it's not good. It, it, it won't end. Well. I didn't get bullied because I fucked motherfuckers up. <laughs> <laughs> and Marcellus and uh, and uh, and Antoine should have better known better. But he <laughs> better fucking known better. Should have fucking better known better. Yeah, should have fucking better known better. But anyway, um, just. It was a combination of the bullying and the terrible parenting. Well, it wasn't really terrible parenting. The mom seemed okay. The mom was... She cared for her children, but she let a lot get by, like, the father and so many other things. It was yeah. kind of kind of neglectful, I'd say. Kind of, but, you know, I mean... Enough to make an effect. Yeah, yeah. it's true. Very true. And then, and then just the fact that, you know... It was a it was a quick downturn for Michael really in the in the Rob Zombie films it was a very quick downturn because he says he says to uh, the the psychology guy I can't remember his name uh, I don't know I can't remember his name but the yeah therapist the therapist guess. guy he says that all he <coughs> remembers from that night is his costume and his candy I mean you know and then. Eventually, he just keeps making more masks and more masks and more masks and more masks, and then he kills people. He just snaps, and that and that leads me to believe that Michael, you know, isn't really a killing machine, and it kind of makes me feel bad for him. But no, honestly, he is a killing machine. Like I told you, I don't want to feel bad for him. He's not a sadistic, murdering puppy. I I don't think I never felt bad for him. Cause, never. No, nah, I mean, as a little kid, you're, yeah, of course you're gonna kind of feel bad for the kid for the situation he's in, for the, um, for the bullying and all that. But, and I gotta contribute this to the actor who played the kid, that he pulled off just psychopath so well that you don't feel remorse for this kid. You just. Just like wow, this kid is nuts. <laughs> that kid was I think nuts. he did it. I think he did it well. By the way, may I, may I just say that? No. Fuck. <laughs> I'm just about certain. I'm just about certain. It's been a while since I've seen this movie, but I'm just about certain that um, wasn't the kid who played uh, you ever see Spy Kids? Yes. <laughs> didn't, the, Spy Kids did, didn't the kid who uh, played Junie Cortez play the uh, main bully for Michael in the Rob Zombie remake? I'm just about certain. I, Probably. Because it looked exactly like him. I mean, like, exactly like him. But anyway, yeah, it's just... I think my ass hurts. Yeah, let's all stand up. Moment of silence. Yeah, moment of silence for Michael Myers. Because he never fucking dies. But my thing is, like, the people, half of the people that died from Michael, they could have got away. They could have. I'm just throwing it out there, too. They could have got away. <laughs> Stealing my Fritos. Did they try to get away? No. They sat there and oh, fucking died. I, I mean, what, what really makes me mad about that, you're right. You're entirely right. They, Like, Lori Strode. I remember, how do I fucking remember Lori Strode? But Lori Strode, she's like screaming and yelling and limping away. Fucking sprint. Don't scream and yell. Just <laughs> go. <laughs> what, you, what you eating oh, for? Yeah, I don't oh. care if I have a sprained ankle or whatever she... Fuck happened to her, but if I'm running for my life, I'm fucking fucking. Yeah, An- another I'm, another, another, another killer. I just don't understand how the fuck they couldn't have gotten away from him because he moved too slow. Jason. Yes. Well, usually the people that die by Jason's hand are fucking. That's true. And you don't want to run away when you're fucking. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, but boy, shit, right. I see Jason come up. Fuck you. I will fuck <laughs> some other day. Some other day. <laughs> I will fuck some other time, well, but not right now. Is it you, you can't exactly fuck. get up and go. My I life, I fuck that. My life is fucking, way more important than this nut. I will you, eat the rest just, of that shit. Out over, I Jason, if you're fucking, is it Jason or is it 
the thing from it follows in the form of Jason. Oh. 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 Now you just made me think about some other things. <laughs> yeah, because then if it's if it but if it's Jason, you're fucked. Either way you're fucked. No no not necessarily. Let her while you're not fucked necessarily anyway. <laughs> because if it was the thing from it follows, then you know, you're passing it on. And then Well, well if you're the one getting it passed on, you're fucked. Again. No, but, but but that but if you pass it on and she dies, that gives you more time. No. It gives you time. No, because then it's just coming, after coming you right after you. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it kills her. It takes all, like, it focuses all of the tension on her, and then it comes after you. Well, yeah. After she's well, dead. Te- technically, you could just cut in. like a conspiracy theory. <laughs> <laughs> technically, you, you could just fucking uh, take a plane to uh, California. To yeah, because it just walks, walks, right? Yeah. And, uh, so imagine seeing sorry. that thing just walk across the fucking state, just state yeah. by state, just going. Yeah. If you, my question is for you, if you go across the ocean, is it does it become Jesus? <laughs> it swims. It swims. It swims. It swims? Yeah. Does it really? I imagine so. <laughs> oh, okay, I was about to say, is there a no. part in the movie where it swims? <laughs> no, no, no. Well, it, yeah, it enters the water in one part of the movie, and it does swim. No, it'd be funny as hell if, like, you just, yeah. it, it's, if, like, it's just walking on the beach and it just goes underwaterwater. <laughs> And just, like a Scooby Doo. Yeah, and then like, and then like in China, it just walks back up on the shore. Yeah, that you just you you just see a bunch of people at in the beach scene, and you just see some random figure go into the water and start swimming. No, see, o- o- only <laughs> only the one who gets sick of it sees it. I don't like this. <laughs> it's a awesome. fucked up concept. So it's any awesome. one of us could be. So a so 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 you I literally you literally <laughs> have literally have the main character always ask her friends. Do you see that guy? No. Oh, that sounds. Yeah. That just sounds annoying. Well, it happens like twice. But anyway, as the conversation has died down, I think we might. I think we might have to end this. Yeah. Oh, I can take this so many different places, but it's been going on for a while, so I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. The, the people ain't gonna want to sit here and watch like four idiots just talk about movies for three hours. Yeah. No, just do it for one. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at. Just about. So, with that being said, we'll be bringing that show to a close. Hopefully, next weekend or something, we might do another one about a different genre of movie. Next weekend will be interesting. Let me just say But in the meantime, oh, yeah. between time, I'm Antoine. I'm Hayden Howard. I thought you were cute. <laughs> I'm cute, too. <laughs> I'm cute, too. <laughs> I, he's not Q-tip, he's cute too. <laughs> <laughs> you, too. Alex. I'm Michael P.P. Shadlock. And yeah. thank you. Good night. But now you listen to this one. <laughs> How long was it? Shit, it's still fucking recording. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Stop.